Before its launch last year, the James Webb Space Telescope was avidly awaited. However, now that the most powerful and expensive telescope ever built is operational, the JWST is threatening to turn astronomy on its head with a single discovery. The latest JWST images have revealed that the Big Bang Theory did not occur, driving the scientific community into a fury. What are the most recent JWST images? How do the images demonstrate that the Big Bang Theory was erroneous? Join us as we explore how the James Webb Space Telescope eventually disproved the Big Bang Theory. How much may a telescope cost? In this aspect, the James Webb Space Telescope set a new record. In terms of work hours, the telescope consumed millions of hours during decades of development. With a price tag of $10 billion, no other telescope comes close. The JWST was also an engineering challenge because it had to be designed to fit with the launch rocket. Because no rocket could hold it, the engineers had to build it to fold in multiple places. The massive heat shield had to be unfurled as it traveled to its permanent location. And that was not even the riskiest part of the telescope. The focal point, the reflecting mirror, had to be disassembled and folded in 18 pieces. Due to the multitude of potential problems, it was exceedingly delicate and the engineers and scientists who worked on it literally held their breath during the launch. Their concerns were made worse by the fact that the JWST is essentially beyond maintenance or repair. One million miles separates the telescope from Earth, making it hard to deploy a repair team if something goes wrong. Because there is no chance of refueling, the mission is over when the fuel runs out. The hazards associated with the JWST, however, are far outweighed by the positive benefits. It promises to increase our understanding of the outside universe in a way that no other scientific tool has done. As a result, scientists from all over the world have been waiting in line to utilize the huge telescope to explore space ever since it was declared operational. But none of them were ready for one of the terrible surprises the telescope had in store for them right away. After only a few weeks of operation, the JWST has already produced images that refute the theory of the Big Bang. Thanks to the success of the hit TV show, The Big Bang Theory, The Big Bang has become the gospel where astronomy is concerned, and many people explain the origins of the universe using The Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory has its origins in the work of a priest turned astronomer named George Lemaitre, who in 1927 had the revolutionary notion that the cosmos once began as a single point. He claimed that the universe had expanded and stretched to its current size so that it could continue to do so. Lemaitre's concept was improved upon a few years later by renowned astronomer Edwin Hubble, for whom the Hubble Space Telescope was named. Hubble found that other galaxies were moving from us and that the distant galaxies were traveling more quickly than the nearby galaxies. The astronomer concluded from this that the universe was still expanding as Lemaitre had hypothesized. In essence, if things were moving apart, it signified that previously everything had been closer together. You see, when the universe first began, it was only hot microscopic particles intermingled with light and energy, according to the Big Bang Theory. However, as everything expanded and took up more room, the temperature dropped. The tiny particles then clumped together to form atoms, which then clumped together over time to form the stars and galaxies we see today. Those early stars produced larger atoms and groupings of atoms, which resulted in the birth of more stars. At the same time, galaxies collided and merged in a chaotic cosmic display. Other things such as asteroids, comets, planets and black holes formed as new stars were born and perished. All of this happened over the course of 14 billion years. But what if the Big Bang did not occur? While many scientists may be reluctant to contemplate this possibility because the idea has been a mainstay of modern astronomy, the JWST is unrepentant with its most recent series of images. While the general public may be captivated by the JWST's spectacular images, scientists are battling to explain their inconsistency with the theory of the Big Bang. The trouble with the images is that they show numerous galaxies that are shockingly smooth, small and old. But why do smooth, small and old galaxies contradict the Big Bang Theory? Let's start with the too small angle. Assuming the cosmos is growing, a strange optical illusion must exist. The truth is that galaxies and other naturally occurring objects in space do not appear smaller and smaller with increasing distance. Actually, after a certain point, they should become larger and larger. If you're wondering why, consider this. It's because their brightness is supposed to have left them. They got closer to us. 
This is the reverse of what we see in non-expanding space, where objects appear smaller in proportion to their distance. The fact that smaller galaxies are seen in the JWST images cannot be hidden by astronomers who have studied them. These images show galaxies to be two to three times smaller than in images taken with the Hubble Space Telescope of galaxies with luminosity and mass higher than the Milky Way galaxy. The redshifts of the new galaxies are likewise two to three times higher. It is not expected for an expanding universe to act in this manner. If it is considered that the universe is not expanding and that redshift is proportionate to distance, the galaxies that the JWST reveals are exactly the same size as the galaxy that is nearest to us. To make up for the posited optical illusion, the Big Bang suggests that these distant galaxies must be intrinsically incredibly small. One, the GHZ2, has a substantially higher luminosity than the Milky Way. However, based on calculations, its estimated radius is only 300 light years, or 150 times less than the Milky Way's. Its surface brightness, or brightness in terms of area, would be 600 times greater than the brightness of the nearest galaxy. Its density would be thousands of times greater than that of the galaxies we can currently observe. What about the smoothness of galaxies? What impact does that have on the Big Bang Theory? The presence of the tiny, incredibly dense galaxies, known as Mighty Mouse galaxies, is necessary for the Big Bang Theory to be accurate. JWST has made the problem far worse. According to the theory, the small galaxies develop into the present-day galaxies by smashing into one another, which causes them to merge as they expand out. Imagine a magical little car that is a centimetre long but weighs as much as an SUV to illustrate this type of merger. Further imagine it crashing into numerous other magical cars as it develops into a real SUV. This is the point at which the JWST images start to undermine the theory of the Big Bang. Even though the depiction initially seems unbelievable, you should at least anticipate seeing some fender benders in the colliding cars. Therefore, proponents of the Big Bang theory anticipated finding galaxies with significant scars or rough edges from the impact they experienced or survived. However, the JWST's revelation of extraordinarily smooth disks and perfect spiral patterns caught them off guard. Their appearance is identical to that of current galaxies. Data revealed that there were almost 10 times as many smooth spiral galaxies in the images than the theory expected. This casts doubt on the notion that galaxy mergers occur frequently. In other words, this information refutes the merger theory. Now what happens when galaxy mergers are few? The thing is that galaxies cannot become so massive without merging. This implies that larger galaxies have always been enormous and have never been small. It also implies that the optical illusion that the expanding universe theory predicted does not exist, since the absence of illusion indicates the absence of expansion. The illusion is an unavoidable prediction from expansion. Next, let's examine the two historical aspects. This is actually similar or the same as too many. The JWST uses a variety of filters to capture images in the infrared region of the spectrum. Astronomers can see the colours of far-off galaxies thanks to this. Basically, astronomers use it to determine how old the stars are in these galaxies. Older, cooler stars are yellow or red in colour, whereas young, scorching stars are blue. According to the Big Bang Theory, the most distant galaxies in the JWST images are currently visible as they were 400 to 500 million years after the universe's creation. But some of these galaxies have star populations that are more than a billion years old. These galaxies prove that there was no Big Bang since nothing could have existed before it. Since there can't be a galaxy older than the Big Bang, the more backward the JWST scans, the fewer galaxies it should observe if the Big Bang Theory is correct it would eventually stop observing galaxies or descend into the dark ages of the cosmos. However, scientists are showing that even 100 million years after the alleged Big Bang, galaxies as huge as the Milky Way are widespread. The new JWST images, according to the scientists, show at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theories predicted at redshift greater than 10, suggesting that many massive galaxies may have formed rapidly. That suggests there was no Big Bang, which is highly implausible. Let's stop here and consider what might happen if the scientific community acknowledged the Big Bang Theory's flaws. Then a new explanation for the origin of the cosmos must exist. Plasma filamentation, which has been probed for about 50 years, is one plausible reason. 
In fact, this process may be explained by applying physical principles found in laboratories. The majority of the matter in space, including stars and interstellar space, is made of plasma, an electrically conducting gas. Only the Hubble redshift relation would still require a brand new physical process to account for the energy loss that occurs as light travels over such vast distances. Plasma filamentation is one of the fundamental processes in plasmas that scientists have recognized and researched. This is the process by which electric currents and the magnetic fields they generate drew plasma into the lacy network of filaments observed at all scales across the universe. Plasma filamentation is one of the fundamental processes that gave rise to planets, stars, galaxies and other structures. Plasma filamentation is also critical in the effort to create artificial fusion energy. The JWST is simply doing its job by introducing us to new ways of viewing the universe. It is already causing scientists to speculate on what would happen if the Big Bang did not take place. Let us know what you think about the Big Bang Theory's credibility in the comment section below.